Welcome back to another amazing episode of the He's Rock, She's Right podcast. Today we're recording on Father's Day. Happy Father's Day to all the fathers who didn't abandon their children. Yeah. This episode will come out tomorrow, Monday. So you will be watching, listening, seeing the and if you abandoned your children, then fuck you yeah. and goodbye. But if yeah. you didn't, then yeah. you Nona, can carry on with the rest of the episode. Nona just got back from having her makeup Mother's Day massage. And I have lines all over my face from being... I, mean, I wonder if they... Yeah. <laughs> I bet they can see them. Oh, yeah. I had my face deep in that massage table. Yeah. It was glorious. Thank you, Andrew. Yeah. Uh, and since Lance, when I texted him earlier, picking up these for him, since he told me happy Father's Day, Lance, there, there you go. There's your Bill's Brewing. I So I know they have like Bill's Front Porch, Bill's Brewing, Bill's something catering. It's just a bunch of Bill's. Okay. Bill's. There's a fly flying around us now. <laughs> um, so check out um, Thighhuggers, thighhuggers.com. Mm-hmm. Lance is... Uh, He's got uh, yoga pants and yoga shorts and yoga pants for women. Order some nut huggers. Yeah. He's got some yoga pants for women now. Mm. The fly's going to die. So today, we're back to once again talk about Mike, good old Glover. Mike Glover. Because it wasn't good enough that he had two trial hearings this week, this past week, and this upcoming week. Eight days from, nine days from when we're recording, mm -hmm. eight days from when you watch this, the 25th right. Right. is his next appearance in court. I actually don't know um, if uh, Not K was going to let me know what, what happened with the uh, uh, witness tampering charge. Oh, okay. So they were back to back. Gotcha. Okay. And we just didn't watch the other one. That's why there was a discrepancy between four and five charges. There are still five charges. Gotcha. But they are misdemeanor. All five of them are misdemeanors. Okay. There are no more felony charges. And none of the charges have been dropped like the other person yeah, right. said on yeah. the internet. And, and as he said, he's friends with Mike. Oh. He has a bigger channel. Okay. So it's very the picture is very clear mm -hmm. that he's trying to paint a good opinion. picture. Yeah. Gotcha. So. You know who else tried to paint a good picture? No, don't even say it right now. Never know. What? Mike? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I don't know where you thought I was going. Mike. No. He himself tried to paint a good picture last night. He, woe is me. Woe yeah. is me. Poor me. Well, he even said in the video, this isn't for your sympathy. Right? No, but it definitely was. It was poor my. So. Poor baby Mike. If you were one of the hundreds and nearly thousands of people that were tagging us. Thank you. <laughs> across every app saying, have you seen this? And commenting <laughs> on our videos, have you seen this? Yes, we have. Because of you. Thank you. Um, so that came in like, it was like late afternoon yesterday. It was like four. What four was time. your first impression of the video? Initial. The, initial impression as my, soon as you started watching it. When somebody, when somebody tagged the first post tweet whatever that i saw mm -hmm. about the the person that i read said there's several mike glovers make sure you have the right one and is this before or after he put out his video and i was like please tell me he didn't actually put out a video oh my God. <laughs> and again i'm not on social media so i only saw the video and this was after andrew so my, was tagged in all of this and everything was my first reaction was like god damn it <laughs> Dude, <laughs> you just shot yourself in the foot. There's, there's nothing. Okay, so there was a guy recently, and you, I've never talked about this because I didn't know who the guy was, and I don't know much about him. Okay, he, he went by Billy Ragland on Twitter. I don't know if that's his real name or if that's just a tag. Did or... I know that name? No, but okay. that, that's what I'm getting at. So, okay. like, there was a whole thing. Apparently, he was accused of sexual harassment, oh. assault, something or other. I don't know all the details of it, so we're not going to go into that. But the okay. point is. That is what people are relating to this now because he what? he created a Twitter space when he was going, when people found out what was going on. It's another guy that teaches like self-defense weapons classes. Uh, I don't okay. know anything about the guy. I, I only passively saw people that I respect 
dragging him all the time. Okay. So I never engaged. There was, I'm like, this sounds dumb. I'm just not even going to go to his account. Like, okay. Don't know anything about it. So, um, that's what they're equating this to is he went and created a Twitter space, which is like a live, it's audio only where you can invite people in and you can uh, allow people to talk or not, or just listen. So you can have like a group of people talking and then you can have like an audience. Okay. Well, people recorded it and he basically admitted to all kinds of shit and just completely fucked himself. Oh shit. Yeah. So, and that's what people are like, Mike. Right. Why? His lawyers definitely did not approve that no, video. It there's, on Saturday. there's no way. Yeah, no. He and I said this in the very first video when we first reported on this that he needed to stay off of social media mm -hmm. entirely until it people, was all done. People were in our comments like, "Oh, guilty or innocent to prove." We never said he was fucking right. guilty. We're reporting on the actual facts as they happen. And as we encounter them. Right. Just like any news agency would do. Exactly. Nobody said he's guilty. We're saying, if this, then that. Right. Right. Potentially, this would potentially lead to that. Right. There's a big difference there. And you can tell, you can tell who has watched the videos versus who is reading the title. Are you talking about our videos? Yeah. Oh, gotcha. And, People and, who and are other... sliding into the comments yeah. and DMs and whatever yeah. the case yeah. may be. Gotcha. Yeah. Okay. Because if you actually watch our videos. We never I say, say. I say Mike gets away with it if this, this, or this. Right. If gets away with it isn't the right term. Mike is innocent or Mike walks away unscathed. Even right. if he's right. Even if he is guilty in some way. Right. Mike walks away from it if he checks these boxes. Mm -hmm. Like staying off of social media. Yeah. Right. I so, believe that was what you said in the very first video yeah, that we, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Stay off social media. They're probably even, okay, let, so let's assume he takes a plea. Let's mm -hmm. let's assume that as things stand now, mm -hmm. Mike takes a plea as things stand now. Okay. Let's say they drop the DV mm -hmm. so he can keep weapons. Mm -hmm. But he takes some sort of plea that has um, community, uh, what's it called? Service. Yeah, community service, probably some restitution. He's going to have to pay the homeowner back. Oh, for sure. Uh, so uh, like a slap on the wrist, essentially, in this kind of case. Okay. Nothing. Maybe an ankle monitor. Maybe. Uh, I don't think it'll be on house arrest. I think it'll mm -hmm. just be probation. Gotcha. So let's let's assume that he pleads to that. Okay. To probation. Community service, a little bit of restitution. Okay. And that's it. Okay. So he can keep weapons. He can continue working for Fieldcraft and all this. Let's, this is this is a scenario, mm -hmm. to be clear. Let's assume that he does all that, right? Right. In the event that he does that, mm -hmm. he isn't admitting guilt, but he still is in some way admitting guilt. I was there. Right. Taking a plea is yeah, yeah, under yeah, law yeah, admitting guilt. Yeah. And as I said in one of the other videos, and I'm kind of going off on a tangent here. I know I'm trying to come mm -hmm. back to it. Always. Yeah. Tangent Express. Yep. He, he gets away with it by doing what he's supposed to do. One of those things is not posting about your fucking case. Don't post, oh, I'm winning, or oh, I'm losing. Those are he the, said? No, 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 you watch the video. It's, oh. it's like a six minute long video, if it okay. still exists when you guys are watching. Mm. So. First thing, 9 a.m. tomorrow, his lawyer is going to tell him to he, take it down. He went, he went and talked about it, first mm -hmm. of all. And then he said, I can't talk about it here, but I've talked about it with my friends. They're gonna watch your video, dude. Right. There, it's it's already even if you try to. Do you think they're the state is gonna subpoena all of his friends? Potentially, and like I said, I mean, without knowing uh, more information about the county, mm -hmm. the uh, attorney general or attorneys general, whatever you want to call it, um, ad whatever, whoever's 
expressing and following through with the charges mm -hmm. without knowing anything about them. We can't really speculate on what they want to do, mm -hmm. but in an election cycle, the Hunter Biden thing just happened. Right. Like people want to make a statement. Uh, yes and no. I don't think they want to make a statement. So let's go back to uh, the Supreme Court stuff real quick, just for okay. just for a second. Tan Tangent Express number two no, over no, here. Because, because this will directly directly make sense and directly uh, fall in line with what I'm going to say. Because the Supreme Court right now has a conservative majority, right? Okay. The minority, when they dissent to a decision, because they are not up for election, they're mm -hmm. not going to lose their seat. There's no reason for them to play party lines. Okay. Because there's no consequence. If 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 I say one thing and you say I disagree and there's nothing that can happen to either of us, you're more prone to give your opinion as it actually exists. You're not going to beat around the bush. So okay. So the majority opinion in the the most recent Supreme Court case, Supreme Court case with the bump stocks was this isn't an ATF issue. If you want to ban these things, there needs to be an actual law passed. Okay. And the Democrats on on the Supreme Court said, we don't agree, but it's because we don't like how the law was written originally. So they couldn't do anything. They had no ground. Okay. So the, there, there was nothing there for them. So in this kind of case, mm -hmm. when they're potentially back up for election, they're going to want to make a statement to their constituents. I want to be reelected. So here's what I'm going to do. Without knowing what party lines they fall under. Okay. And how close a race might potentially be. If the race is going to be close, they're probably going to tread and, and not try and do anything crazy. Either direction. If the race is close, they're going to want to win they know they can win okay in this instance though domestic violence charges are on the line and i think we can say uh -huh. safely that both democrats and republicans by the way so the kid the kid is with uh child protective services whatever dcfs she he, he or she was taken from the girlfriend so and that was another comment that somebody somebody said because he said my spouse yes and it could potentially be a common law marriage. So it might be, they might have lived together long enough. The state of Utah accepts know. common law marriages? I don't know. I don't know. I, I don't know North Carolina doesn't, so I I genuinely don't know about other states. But from what we saw, they were living together and they were boyfriend and girlfriend, not married. Right. But because, as most people know, the court looks at, What's best for the kids? What's in the best interest of the kids? If you are married on either side, it looks better to the court because it looks like stability. Right. Whether or not their relationship is stable or not, right? it appears stable because you are married. Not because of who you are, not because of what you've done, but because you have that piece of paper, you appear to be stable to the court. Okay, but hold on. Let's do some math here. Okay. Common law marriage is at least seven years, correct? I don't know if that's true in every state, but the states like Virginia and I think Tennessee that are close and to us. And he's are both how old again? He was born in 80, so And 46. she was born what year? 47 or 44. Uh, she's, she's 26 years old. So she's like 18 years younger than him or 17. Right. 26 minus 7. Okay. So. It would still be legal. Barely. But it's still legal. So a point that a lot of my libertarian friends like to bring up is if it's legal, it's legal. There's no gray. I understand no, 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 that. But, but there's no gray. You can't, you cannot say that 18 in a day is any different than 50. If 18 is legal, 18 in a day is legal. I understand that. I'm so, just seeing him in a different light now. 
if they have in fact been together sure. okay. truly for seven years to be a common law marriage. But I don't, so, okay, let's pull it up. Let's, let's, let's check this real quick. All right. Well, Does well, Utah have common law marriages. While you're doing that, my first impression was, why the fuck is Utah he shirtless? Does not have common law marriages. Oh, so then oh, we just have the entire conversation for no reason. Sure. Um, so he did say, uh, day 44 of not seeing my spouse and eight month old son. Uh, so again, we were under the impression that she was the girlfriend, not a wife, and calling her a spouse. What, what? Just, I'm reading contradicting it, but straight from utcourts.gov, Utah does not have common law marriage. Okay. But I just, the, it went from this highlight to this highlight, and it was like, you can be, but the state says no. So we're going to go with no because. Right. I don't know. That that math was. But remember, we've had, I don't know if we've had it on the show before, but we've talked about how people will call people like my wife or my husband, even if they're not actually married. Because, okay, but in the eyes of the court, if it is your husband or your wife, they cannot testify against you on the stand. Whereas if it's just your girlfriend or your boyfriend, they can. Why can't they? Do you know it, the laws in Utah? Oh gosh, I th I thought these were the laws everywhere in the United no, States. I've never heard that at all. Well, now look it up. Test be able to test. Yeah, yeah. If, you, if she's the victim. You. Uh, yeah. I know that, but so can, pull, pull it up, pull it up. Can a wife testify against a husband in a domestic violence case in Utah? A wife shall not be compelled. Okay, so that that's what I would- She cannot be forced. Right, and she's not participating with the state. So that's what I'm getting at. If she was, in fact, the wife, not girlfriend, then the state cannot force her to testify. She has, she has legal representation on her own. So okay, that's that's great. I I'm I advocate for her absolutely. I'm just confused as to why he said spouse. The oh, well, video doesn't make sense. So oh yeah, the the part where um, I was in jail with another man who caught assault charges, that's his direct quote, caught assault charges as well, um, implying that he caught assault charges. Yeah, he, and He just needed to not make this. So um, I wanted to bring this up real quick because we're on the, the talking about the video, talking about the framing, you talking about why was he wearing a shirt. Yeah, why the fuck was he not so, wearing a shirt? That was my first impression. So the, the protective order that he signed okay. does not say anything other than firearms but remember, oh I've talked you about, saw the compound bow in the background I've, I've talked about loose definitions of things mm -hmm. assault rifles mm -hmm. assault weapons mm -hmm. whatever like in our previous episode where the guy shot fireworks from the airplane yeah. and even though that no, but it's fireworks so so the language of the protective order okay assuming the definition of firearm is something that discharges a projectile using an explosive okay whatever right black powder cartridge whatever right. this may be utah law does have another statute okay for protective orders and stalking um injunctions that does cover everything else knives bows anything that can be used as a weapon and his specifically does not or the, the protective order the document that he signed mm -hmm. does not explicitly say that but the laws that govern protective orders in utah do explicitly ah, say that. so then that's reason number two his lawyer is going to be telling him to take it down yeah. take it the fuck down because you've got a bow directly behind you when you're supposed to and not have and a bow uh, okay so it's let me just go back because it might be easier. No. Title 78B, Title 78B, Chapter 7, Part 6, Section 603. Okay. And that was actually effective May of last year. Ah. So he and or his 
lawyer may not may have, not have yeah. informed him properly. That's unfortunate. But my overall impression of the video was that he was making Fieldcraft the number one priority. Yeah. And second to that was him. And he was just trying to ensure that Fieldcraft doesn't get blacklisted. Because line go down. Right, of course. And what happens when I had to... I had to step away right, right. from my role, but please go because buy courses. Because I was in jail with somebody else who caught charges just like me. But, but please go buy courses. And what I said something in that initial video as well, mm -hmm. that he's probably going to have to do something along the lines of advocating for a competitor. Mm -hmm. He's probably going to have to say, hey, to protect yourself, mm -hmm. go check these guys out. Mm-hmm. To go on his personal YouTube channel, and it was monetized. Shirtless. The video, the video was monetized. How much money do you think he made off of a hundred thousand views? Um, there, it's more complicated than that. Okay, I don't uh, know YouTube. Sorry, guys. We'll we'll pretend the baseline of a penny per. So there's, you have regular viewers, you have okay. premium and premium viewers. Those are two different buckets of money what what are you premium okay you have youtube premium everybody in this household has a youtube premium so i don't pay for it so i don't know what what a creator gets paid okay is a portion of what we directly pay youtube rather than what youtube bakes into the ads so if youtube runs an ad for old spice on mike's video okay mike gets x amount based on the, the amount of the ad that's viewed, if it's a skippable ad versus non-skippable ad gotcha. versus how much they auctioned that slot for times however many viewers. Th so there's a lot that goes into it. Okay. But my point is the video is monetized. Mm -hmm. He's making money off the video talking about his case. Mm -hmm. Saying, poor me, poor me, poor yeah. me. Yeah. I've lost 20 pounds from anxiety. Yeah. Poor so, me. Any time that I've seen anybody do something legitimate where they're talking about something like that, they're mm -hmm. making some sort of plea. They demonetize it? Yes. they To be more genuine. They turn off, yeah, they turn off their minds. The Linus Tech Tips thing last year. We talked about that. Mm -hmm. You said that he was getting canceled because of somebody on his team she doing something. She still works there, though. So, like, the whole thing, they had an independent, or I guess two independent agencies go. So, th that's a whole thing that we can talk about. Another time. We're but, not going on another tangent express, Andrew. But. But anyways, they, they put out a video. When they came out and made their statements, okay. the whole team, when they did that, they turned off monetization. Gotcha. To say, we are putting this information out there. We are not going to profit off of it. Okay. That, if you are doing something like this, that's the move that you have to make. Right. You have to be genuine and not pandering. It's not even being genuine and being, or versus pandering. The problem is, if he is found guilty, mm -hmm. they can seek money. The state can seek money from his contract. Damages? Yeah. And I mean, there there's... was it on his personal channel or Fieldcraft's Mike channel? Or actual or Mike? Yeah, it's, it's I think it's Mike. He's got like three. There's Fieldcraft. There's Mike Glover, or Mike A Glover, and then Mike Glover actual. What? Yeah, Why does he the, have so many the Mike, channels? The Mike cast something. I don't know. Okay. Because that's a lot to process. Because as I've told Warrior Rising and some other people, in some cases you do want to separate certain things like years ago channels would have their main content and then they oh would, yeah, yeah yeah you talked then, about this then already they would have a clips channel gotcha okay. because they wanted they wanted to be able to pump out what are now shorts but before they gotcha. were still landscape format but they could be like okay three minutes so if you have like a four hour long podcast like joe rogan but you have like a six minute segment that you're like joe rogan's podcast is four hours long sometimes yeah do you guys watch that people do Four hours? So that's insane. So say Joe and guest X are talking about this topic, but he knows the majority of people are not going to watch the full podcast. Okay. So they clip that out and they publish it under a second channel. Gotcha. Okay. And that's still in some cases, once you're big enough, mm -hmm. that's how you do your experiments. 
you have, if, once you have a regular set cadence and your audience knows I'm doing this, I'm doing this, I'm doing this, they do not want to change. You start pumping out too much content, they unsubscribe. Okay. You, you don't make enough content, they unsubscribe. So once you have established a cadence, okay, the transition to something new has to take a long period of time. Okay. If we had, if let's say we had a, a thousand or a thousand uh, videos and like fifty thousand subscribers, right? Okay. If we wanted to introduce a new host, they would have to come on. You heard it here first. He's trying to replace me. No. They have to. <laughs> they have to come on gradually. They come on as a guest. So as soon as I'm gone, he's going to replace me. <laughs> no no and because i'm not on social media i'll never know (laughs) no no so they they come on as a guest he's like shit i shouldn't have said anything no they they come on as a guest the audience gets warm and fuzzy right Mm -hmm. and you get feedback i like that guest i didn't like that guest bring them on again don't bring them on again right okay and now they start coming on more frequently more frequently and people like okay and then they don't show up for like a week and then the audience is looking for them. Gotcha. Okay. So there's a whole game that you have to play with that. I don't play games. So people have multiple channels because they don't want to hurt their revenue on their main channel, but they need an avenue to experiment. Gotcha. Okay. I follow uh, another YouTuber, uh, Nigel. His, he has Nile Red and Nile Blue. The, the one of the science YouTubers that I follow that does all kinds of crazy. Can I have stuff. a sip of your sure. Lance, Lance face? Lance Legat beer. Lance Lance Lagar. It's actually not peanut butter, isn't it? Yeah, I yeah. was just sniffing it first. Doesn't smell bad. So we don't have a second channel because we're not at the size yet where that matters. We're experimenting on this channel yeah. because okay. because we don't know what works yet for the audience that we're trying to build. Right. Our audience is starting to set the tone for some of it. We keep coming back to Mike Glover because people want us to. Talk and I had about never Mike. heard of Mike Glover until literally that week that it happened. But you knew Fieldcraft because you knew. Mike not Glover. not really. Like you would talk about work sometimes and, oh, yeah, I had a meeting with blah, blah, blah. Okay. In one ear and out another. Cool. So, the the things that I said mm-hmm. still hold up. Okay. From the first video, stay on social media. Yes. Lie low. Don't do anything. Lie else. low. I think it's lay low, but I think you did that intentionally no. because lie. No, both both work. Lay low, lie low, lie down, lay down. Okay. Both of them work. Okay. All right. Let's ask. Let's ask. Is it lie low or lay low? I think so. I was saying both. Use lie low in present tense, lay low in past tense. Okay. So I was right by saying lie low. Okay, fine. I'm very good at English for somebody that isn't good at English. <laughs> okay, fine. I I remember when I was in college, mm-hmm. I had made a comment to one of, when I was working as a paramedic in the emergency department, Okay, I had made a comment to one of the nurses while I was going to nursing school mm-hmm. about there, there, and there. Mm, okay. And she was a complete fucking asshole to me about it. Like, I don't understand. How can you be an asshole about what? I, I don't remember. It was something about a paper that I was writing or something like that. Okay. And she was just so fucking condescending about how I would even ask somebody. Like, I'm seeking knowledge. And it wasn't even like, which one should I use in this? So I was, it was literally something like, it was like a why or how kind of question. And it wasn't even really about my work or my homework or anything. Okay. It was just... It was like a conversation thing. Okay. And she was like, oh, like, pissy and condescending. I'm like, 
Okay. But for that reason, and for other things that I've experienced or encountered, I, unless I'm going out of my way to make something up, make up a word, I try to use the textbook definition of things, not the interpretable definition, not the cultural definition, but the textbook definition. Literally, the perfect thing for this is the word decimate. He... One-tenth. To this day, will argue blue in the face that it is only one-tenth. Because it is. It's to obliterate. No. Nope. There we go. Pull it up. What is the definition of decimate? Historically, one in every 10 of a group of soldiers. Literally, number one is kill, destroy, remove large percentage. So a large percentage, statistically, is anything more than... So this has been an argument yeah. our entire marriage. Listen, listen. <laughs> statistically, a large percentage is anything more than 0.5%. So 10% would be a large percentage. I'm still right. You are exhausting. Why is decimate used incorrectly? The issue that many people have uh, with the decline and fall of the word decimate is that once upon a time, it had a very singular meaning, a meaning that is in danger of being lost forever to the vandals of Merriam-Webster. Why is it so editorialized? Basically, they're saying that people are just adopting whatever the fuck they want to call something and the dictionary doesn't like that either. They wrote a whole blog post about it. You are exhausting. But I'm still factually correct. You are exhausting. Whether or not we use it correctly as a culture is a different. You're exhausting. Argument. So, um, my Glover thing. Stay off social media and don't see this because you should be off social media. Well, he will see this. <laughs> It's very clear from his video that he posted yesterday that he that does know. He it. implied yeah. that he's been watching our videos. There are people spreading rumors. Right, no, right. We We're not spreading. spreading rumors. We've never, there's no fucking rumor. We are regurgitating the facts. We have the court documents. We've watched the trial hearings. Mm -hmm. We have somebody else that's recapping the trial hearings and the uh, transcripts, mm -hmm. which, by the way, we talked about that on the live stream. That's complete fucking trash. Wait, what? The transcripts. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It had to be AI, nonsensical, I, so, picking up other people's words. So, and So I think, and I could be wrong here, but when you are- You could be wrong? No. <laughs> when you, have, you guys heard that, right? <laughs> when you have a model that you're training, so a, a knowledge base that you're okay. trying to train, right? Mm -hmm. When you have that, mm -hmm. and- you also have the luxury of having the real thing. Mm -hmm. So if you're trying to train a model to interpret and understand voice okay. in human language, okay. right? if you have the stenographers, um, whatever you want to call it, what's it called? I don't know where you're going. The captions, the transcript. Yes. You have that, right? And you have what well, your model generates. Okay. You can one to one check it. Right, right. So WebEx mm -hmm. was probably generating that, mm -hmm. and WebEx is probably wrong. However, they can ask the court, "Hey, can we look at your transcript and see what we got wrong and what we got right?" And they can continue to improve their product. Yes, uh, uh, I get. I was about to ask. Do you think even a stenographer was part of it with WebEx? But yeah, obviously, with the right there next to the judge. Yeah. So, so I, I answered my own question they, in my they, head. But they might not have access to that because mm -hmm. very right. That would be that would be within the court. Yeah. And we all know that that's a slower process. It's probably being processed right but now, but a whole week later. But they've contracted WebEx. Right, right, right. Yes. And Cisco is the company. Oh, okay. Which, I mean, they're a huge IT. Company. Right, right. Um, and if you go to any government building, hospital, anything mm -hmm. like that, you're going to see Cisco networking equipment all over the place. Okay. All the access points, if you connect to the hospital Wi-Fi or in a government, it's, it's, you're pretty much going to run into a handful of companies, Cisco, Google, Microsoft, Intel, IBM, um, 
Your area of expertise, and, not and, mine. And Oracle. You're going to run into those six. What's Almost, Oracle? I've never heard of them. Uh, you have, but you don't know. You remember Java back in the day when you mm -hmm, had mm -hmm. stuff? That's Oracle. Oh, okay. I had no idea. Okay. So, that's a whole funny thing. Okay. They've been back and forth lawsuits with Google. Google lost. And now they're back in bed with Google. They're going to be co-locating hardware and services in Google data centers after suing the shit out of Google for like a decade. Literally sounds one-to-one -one, like the it story like that you told. Like the story that you told about your former boss. Co-locating? I don't the company down in Atlanta suing oh, them oh, 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 and then yeah, coming yeah, 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 yeah. to hire them yeah. again and yeah. a whole bunch of nonsense. Yeah. Why would you go back to the person who fucked you over? Well. Anyways, whatever. Close enough. So. What are you going to say, Andrew? Okay. Okay. The best advice anybody has ever given on Twitter. Don't do crime. Don't if you do if you do crime, don't post about the crime that you did. Okay, just don't do crime. Yeah, but those those are actual words from actual attorneys on Twitter. Don't do crime. Don't period. Don't do crime. If you do crime, don't talk about your crime. Good advice. Period. Mm -hmm. Don't do crime. But if you do do crime, do do. Yeah. Don't talk about it. Everything is going to be under scrutiny. That video is going to be entered in evidence. I fucking know it will be. Mm -hmm. If if it had been like a nobody, if it was just random Joe off the street who was accused of that and had seven followers on YouTube, they never find that video. It never gets entered as evidence, and it doesn't fucking matter. It might matter in 10 years when they are running for office or something else. Right. And people fucking want to dig up old fucking bullshit. Oh, I'm sure it's going to be deleted tomorrow, but I'm sure people have screen recorded it and downloaded it. And Yeah, as soon as, soon as it hits the internet, mm -hmm. it's, it's game over. It's already, mm -hmm. Everybody already has it. Anyways. What was that? What else was on your list? I, we, I've talked about May everything. Forty-four, not seeing spouse, and eight, was that eight-month-old son? Is that what? Yeah. Was? Mm -hmm. Uh, talks about field crap no more. Yeah, like in that kind of situation. See, this is how old school I am, guys. I handwrite my notes. He's but, all the techie, techie, and no, I handwrite things. <laughs> You used to see, I probably still have a notebook in that backpack over there. Um, you can't, you can't pitch your brand mm -hmm. when you're the one on trial. Mm -hmm. There's a correlation between people that can't fucking type English worth a damn, people that harass my wife on our YouTube channel. And people that support Mike Glover. Oh. Those are the those three people are the same people. Oh, okay. So you've essentially launched a fire mission against my wife's appearance because they're gonna make fun of the lines all over my face today. Whatever. You can I don't even know if you can see it. I'll just uh I'll blur your face out in the video. Okay. It'll just be like the you know what I'm talking about? Like the bokeh kind of look. Okay, cool. Yeah, it was be, why is he shirtless? Yeah, that was. You're talking about field craft marketing, uh, marketing content. Mm -hmm. I don't know my contact then. Uh, alludes to us in, con yeah. Uh, lost 20 pounds due to stress. Yeah, in the hospitalization thing, I can't see a world in which that helps because if they call in experts, which I don't know if this will get big enough for that to matter, but if they needed expert testimony, if they mm -hmm. needed psychologists, psychiatrists, doctors, MDs, whatever to come in, and they're going to ask, and we've had conversations about this previously, is it at least as likely that this was a pre-existing condition as it is 
that it's newly developed because of what's going on. And if the doctor cannot say that it's not just as likely, they're going to start piling even more shit on. Mm -hmm. He oh. possibly had a psychotic break. Yep. Is he unstable? Yep. yep. And that's already, there's already the whole, we've talked about this, the fucking uh, DV thing. Mm -hmm. the, uh, oh my God. I really kind of think today. Dysfunctional veteran shit. There's already a fucking group of people that are hell bent on every veteran is fucked up. And then you have veterans who are like, you know, I'm dysfunctional. I can't reintegrate with society and I'm this and I'm that and mm -hmm. I need war. You're not fucking making anything better. Right. Making it worse for all other yeah. veterans. Yeah. So you going on making there, a negative stigma. You going on there and saying, I had a new condition and I had to go to the hospital for it. Now they're gonna be like, oh, so it happened then. Mm -hmm. It's probably happened before. Right. What else have you done? With mm -hmm. Oh boy, can of worms, guys. Yep. Can of worms. Uh, I was in jail with a man who caused all trouble. Now, like even you in the fucking terminology, man. Like, mm -hmm. Stop. Like there was no animosity when we were reporting on this. Mm -hmm. It was this is a guy that's popular within the circles that I run in. Okay. And obviously not legal advice because I'm not an attorney, but fucking just lay low. Mm -hmm. Let the fucking attorney, the, the court of public opinion has no sway in the real court. Right. Other than to be used against you. Mm -hmm. There's nothing that you can say until your case is resolved that is going to help you. Period. Nothing. Period. Uh, the anxiety, girlfriend, blah, 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 blah. He actually didn't talk about her other than calling her his spouse. It was literally know. just one yeah. line. Fieldcraft was 99.9% yeah. .9 of the video. Yep. He was yeah. a very small percentage. And then she and the eight-month-old were like an afterthought. Yeah. Make sure you're doing your training. Don't let my situation impact you. Dude. I said you should step away. Mm -hmm. You should be off social media. You should not talk about your case. And if you care about your son at all. Yeah. So that's my impression of it, that there's nothing genuine. Oh, and to be clear, because we've had tons of people like Mike knows people not threatened or worried. Wait, people me. have threatened us? Me. I mean, like, yeah, the to, channel, but... To kill us? No, 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 no. They're like, you shouldn't talk about this. Mike knows people. Okay, cool. I don't even know how to process that information right now. But what I'm saying is I'm not I'm not worried. So to the people that are saying that, Mike isn't going to do anything to us. The, nothing is going to happen. You can be like, oh, don't talk about our hero. He knows what he's going through. We have not done Mike wrong. Mike is not going to harm us. You don't need to passively threaten us on his behalf. You're not helping his case either. By doing that, you are making it look worse on him. And you should understand that. Yeah, I don't know how to process any of this. I had no idea yeah. until right now. Our fucking comment section is on like half of our videos. Mike knows people. Okay. And? Are you threatening me? Because if you're threatening me, you're not exactly helping his case. So what I'm trying to say is that I am not worried. And you guys should not be doing that on Mike's behalf. I know that he hasn't asked you to do that. 
Actually, I don't know that. Right. But I'm giving him the benefit I of I mean, doubt. the fact that he was calling people from jail, you don't you don't know that he's not asking. No. That's No. You can't rule it out. Sure, but I have the ability to track and trace all of this stuff and everything that I do is backed up constantly all the time. Oh yeah, you guys like getting rickrolled every time you click that OnlyFans? And then now you see something else. Yeah. Something really cool. Click click that click that OnlyFans link. See mm -hmm. what happens. Yeah, see what happens. Well, nothing bad will happen. You'll just know that I know who you are. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So yeah. Everything is logged, everything is tracked. All internet traffic. You can't get away with anything on the internet. Don't do crime. Making threats on the internet is also a crime. Cyberstalking is a crime. Yep. Don't do crime. I'm literally a forensic IT expert. Don't fucking do crime. So, closing statements. June 25th. Tuesday, June 25th. At 9.30 a.m. Mountain Time, 11.30 a.m. Eastern Time. We will be right here. Right, but we learned our lesson from the last one. No. Yeah, to fix the audio. Right. Yeah. Yeah. So we'll have the audio. Well, we won't have the audio. We'll be listening to the audio. Right. And we will pair it to you mm -hmm. while we're here. Um, I think that's it. Yep, that's it. And if you would like to view it yourself so that you can leave an educated comment, all you have to do is Google the Utah County Courts and look up the it's there's two of them or i guess three of them there's there's two that are similarly named let me pull this up real quick there's two that way you guys can watch it at the same time yeah or yeah because i i don't think it's recorded uh so provo court is where the administrative court proceedings for uh the tampering witness stuff sorry i'm like scrolling through these uh texts real quick is it in a different court because it crossed state lines no they're both in the same state but one is covered by the county that the crime happened in and the other is covered by the county with in which he was jailed ah Okay. So, American, okay, so these are the ones that I was talking about. So, there's American Fork and Spanish Fork. American Fork, I believe, is the right one. Spanish Fork is the incorrect one, but one way or the other, I don't remember, I can't figure it out now because they're not broadcasting right now. So, possibly American Fork on the 25th at 1130 Eastern Time. American Fork or Spanish Fork. Oh. For the okay. four... Domestic violence related charges. Okay. And then the Provo court is the one for the, the hearing trial for, yeah, for witness tampering. And that's the same day, but just. I don't know oh. because we didn't watch okay. that. One. We missed it. He missed it. Gotcha. Okay. So, okay. We'll see. Because we didn't know that they were in two separate yeah. courts. Gotcha. He, he was looking into it. He was supposed to tell me what happened, what came of it. But I believe that was continued as well. So. Gotcha. Okay. That's it for us. All right. Um, Happy Father's Day. Don't abandon your children. Yep. And we'll see you tomorrow for an episode that breaks up this stuff. Some fun, some humor, some other content. Some content that if you don't want us to talk about Mike Glover anymore, you should watch. Yes. Yes. It will not be pertaining to that Mike guy. Yep. All right, guys. Bye. Bye.